He's gonna try to steal that car, just watch. what I tell you? Let's go. Hands where I can see him. Is there a problem, officer? Place your hands on the vehicle, you're under arrest. Under arrest? For what? Tempe Grand Theft Auto. Oh, whoa, no, this is not what it looks like, I promise. What it looks like is that you were dumb enough to try to steal a car in front of two police officers. Steal? No, no, nah, this is this is my rental car. I just lost my keys. <laughs> sure you did. You believe the stones on this guy? He thinks he can lie right to our faces. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you. No, no, sir, this is really my car. If you just check inside, you'll see my wallet and a rental agreement. Maybe we should. Maybe you should keep your mouth shut and open the door for me so I can process this scumbag. Sorry, you just, just you gotta trust me. You gotta hear me yell. Just, just look inside and you'll see my information. Save it for the judge. What's that look for? This is a good caller for both of us. But Sarge, shouldn't we at least check out the guy's story? What if he's telling the truth? I know his kind. All they do is lie and steal. His kind? Sir, that's completely inappropriate. Save the PC talk, Edwards. You're young. Give it a few years on the force. You'll see. Come on, Sarge. It only took a few seconds. Let it go, Edwards! I'm your commanding officer. This is my call. Besides, this puts me over my quota for the month. Just in time to, you know, I'm chasing that promotion to lieutenant. Let's go. Yo, I'm telling the truth. Just check it. Come on, man. Check the car, man. I'll give you one chance to be straight with me. Is that really your rental car? No, yes. Yeah, it is, man. Just check inside, you'll see everything. Where exactly is the rental agreement? Center console. You'll find my wallet with my ID in it and a rental agreement. Trust me. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll just sit tight. Hey, yo, 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 yo. You believe me? Even though your partner doesn't? Why? It's my job as a police officer to serve all the members of our community, regardless of what they look like. Not just lock them up without due process. Thank you, the Officer Edwards. Gary Edwards. Thanks, man. Sarge, yeah, I really think we should search the car. Well, even if he's lying, we might find something else in which can help our case. Drop this nonsense, Edwards. Can you see this guy's playing you for a sucker? Besides, I already called impound. They're sending over a tow. Maybe I could check it before they impound the vehicle then. Let me make myself clear. Either you drop this little investigation of yours or I'll make your life a living hell. And I promise you, you'll never make detective for the rest of your career. Got me? I got you. Okay, Edwards, why'd you bring me all the way out here in the middle of the night? Thanks for coming, Detective. I need to get into this car before the boys from the impound take it. Hey, you don't need me for that, just ask your sergeant. Already did. He said no. Well, you should have listened to him. I can't get in the middle of this. Come on, I'm just trying to make sure we've got the right guy. Right, the sergeant is letting his bias blind him on this one. That is a serious accusation. You know how Bradley is. Just help me out. I'll promise I'll face any consequences that may come of it. You will. If it means keeping a potentially innocent man out of prison, absolutely. You gotta be kidding me.
I'll leave the two of you to sort this out. Do you have any idea how bad of a look this is for you? Going behind my back to a detective. You'll be lucky if this doesn't cost you your badge. Sorry, Sergeant. I had to be sure. And did you find any wallet or rental agreement? No. Turns out you were right about the man. I'm always right. Now get your butt in this car before I really get upset. Yo. What's up, man? You found my information? Can I get up out of here? I searched the whole car. There was nothing there. That doesn't make any sense. Do you know how much trouble I'm in for listening to you? I, I can't believe I fell for it. Listen, something's not right. Trust me, all my stuff was there. I swear it. It has to be an explanation. I trusted you and you lied. I can't do any more. Sorry. Lastly, I wanted to update the squad on our search for our newest lieutenant. Sergeant uh, Bradley, would you join me up front, please? Did you make an arrest yesterday, Sergeant? Yes, sir. I'm happy to report there's one less car thief on the streets. Well, one thing's for certain, your actions last night made the lieutenant decision much easier. Thank you, sir. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to address. Officer Edwards, is it true that you broke the chain of command and searched the suspect's car last night? Yes, sir. What compelled you to do that? Well, sir, I believe the suspect's story about having rented the vehicle. It seemed reasonable. I tried to explain to him how things work on the street, Chief. That's true. You did, sir. I admit I was wrong, and I take full accountability for my actions. I'm glad to hear that. Because I rigged the car you searched with cameras. We've been getting complaints that officers in this squad have been racially profiling members of our community, and I wanted to prove them wrong. So I devised a test of sorts. What kind of test, sir? Chief. Detective, good to see you. Good to see you as well, thank you, Pat. What's he doing here? He's supposed to be locked up. This is Detective Lawrence from Long Beach. He volunteered to help by pretending to be locked out of his car in order to see the reactions of my officers. But I searched the vehicle, sir. I didn't find anything to prove his innocence. That's because Sergeant Bradley got to the car first and tampered with the evidence. Wait, wait just wait. I can explain all this. Oh, you can save it for the judge. You're under arrest for tampering with evidence. You got the right to remain silent. This is all a big misunderstanding. No, you sure it is? Yeah, right. This squad owes you a debt, Officer Edwards. You risked your job in order to protect the rights of our citizens. And that takes courage. Thank you, sir. So now that it seems that we have an opening in our sergeant ranks, I'd like to promote you. How does that sound? Sergeant Edwards. Thank you so much, sir. I promise to do my best. You will. 